Okay, this is like the third or fourth time I tried making this video. And because of that, I'm a bit tired and pissed, and I'm gonna try and hurry up with it as soon as possible. But anyway, as promised in this video, this is gonna be a giveaway of all of the things, or most of the things, that I've obtained at Anime Expo 2015. Now, some of you are gonna be all like, why didn't you make this video earlier in the summer? Because of the Anime Expo. It's in the summer. Two reasons why. One, I've been way too busy with our stuff, so this had to be on the back burner. And two, money. Anybody who has done the giveaway knows that doing giveaways are a bit pretty expensive. Well, all of the shipping and the packaging and having to buy all the stuff that you want to give away. Most of you understand. Also, another thing I want to mention is that because this video is somewhere in December, on top of making it an Anime Expo giveaway, I'll also make it like my Christmas giveaway. So like, I'll just use this as an excuse to consider this a Christmas giveaway as well, as I say again. Now, that's pretty much all I want to say on the beginning. Most of you, like, already are, be all like, hurry up and just show the stuff already. And that's what I'm about to do. So, let's start off. Now, in terms of, like, what the stuff is and, and like, how I got them, I'm not going to mention it or just talk about it in general because I already mentioned or described this stuff in my last video. So, yeah. First things are a couple of art badges. Here's one of Neku from New Orleans with you. Sephiroth. And Chris and Jill. Next things are bookmarks. Here's Kefka. Noctis and Jury. Next three things are a couple of beat sprites. Here's Dante from Devil May Cry 3, Virgil from Devil May Cry 3, and Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Next few things are a couple of keychains and key rings and stuff you put on your phone. First is this one of Tina from Dead or Alive 1. Here's Kula from Blue Dragon. And Pi from Virtua Fighter 2. Next thing I want to show are a couple of playing cards. Here's Tales of Symphonia playing cards and Mega Man X4 playing cards. Next two things are pretty much the same thing, and that's these Disgaea Christmas ornaments. Next few things are a couple of figurines of Street Fighter and Grow Answer. In terms of how I'm gonna give these away, I'm gonna like just put a sticky note on top of them. One since like they're gonna say one, two, one, two, it'll be plastered on them and that's how that will be decided and whatnot. Who like how you choose. Next few things are a couple of posters or art prints. Here's Persona 4. For those that like want to get this one, I just want to warn you that like on top of here it's a little bent and it might be a little blemish or irritant thing. But sorry about that. And also Look on the bright side, at least this is not like some super expensive art or like 
something super expensive, so yeah. I'll just put there. Here's one of Bayonetta and Okami. Here's Uncharted. And the last art print is our Jet Set Radio. The next few things are some autographs. First autograph is my autograph copy of Lost Planet signed by KG Nafune. My autograph copy of Guilty Gear X2 Reload signed by Daisuke Ishiwatari. Now I know some of you are going to be like, ugh, this. Sorry, alright? I got this from a secondhand store. It was cheap, and it's just, it's, just, it's the guy who made Guilty Gear and his music, so that kind of cancels out this. And the last autograph is Kazutaka Kodaka, the guy that wrote Danganronpa. And just to be fair, on top of this, I'm also going to include a set of pins to go with this autograph, just to be fair. Now some of you are going to be all like, why don't you just buy the Danganronpa game and give it away? Well, in all fairness, those games are pretty cheap and Danganronpa is like $40 still. I decided to just have it, this autograph on the guidebook as well as these pins just to even it out. I'm also going to include for this giveaway the Anime Expo guidebook. I know some of you are going to be like, oh this is a waste. Well not really. I just like want to add this because I want to show you guys how awesome anime conventions are and if you're huge into Japanese games you should definitely go to this convention because it's that awesome and yeah you'll just check the guidebook and you'll probably see why I love going to this convention and talk about it non-stop and like go to it each and every year so far. And the last thing I'm going to be giving away for this giveaway is this Persona 5 tote bag. Oh yeah, also another thing I forgot to mention is that on top of this stuff, I'm also going to include some snacks just like last time. Now unlike the last video, or videos showing my giveaway stuff, I'm gonna like change up the snacks. So it's not gonna be like the same snacks you saw last time. For those who've seen like Hero Statue Collector Lose or Sparax Space Bar video, I'm gonna, you know, as again, gonna change it up. Now in terms of how I'm gonna pick winners and how this giveaway is structured, there are going to be three winners. The first prize winner gets the choice of whatever keychain or keyring they want. Whatever autograph they want. A copy of the Anime Expo guidebook. Whatever art print of these four they want. A choice of whatever beat sprite. A choice of whatever bookmark. A choice between these four figurines.
a Disgaea Christmas ornament, a choice of art badge, a choice of playing cards, and the Persona 5 Creme de la Creme tote bag. The second place winner for this giveaway, oh yeah, also some snacks for a first place winner. Second place winner for the giveaway, get some snacks, they get a remaining holiday or Christmas ornament, they get a copy of the Anime Expo guidebook, they get choice for their like other remaining stuff, like a remaining autograph, the remaining keychain or key ring or bookmark. Yeah, you, they get the remaining playing cards, get the remaining figure or remaining post print, art print. You get the point. And third place winner gets like the remaining stuff after that remaining stuff. So like a guidebook, the remaining bookmark, the remaining badge holder, remaining sprite, remaining autograph, you get the point, as well as some snacks. Now in terms of how entries are going to be given for this contest, people have up to five entries for it. One entry for a comment, four entries for video response. To enter my giveaway and, and uh, obtain one entry, comment down below answering this feedback question. And that question is, should my giveaways only be video game related stuff and remain that way? Or would you like to see more merch and stuff based on other things as well, such as animes, movies, TV shows, comic books, so forth. So like for instance, if you choose the other thing and like have me expand, I'll also be including like a comic book, maybe like a Wolverine action figure. I'll be including maybe an art print of like Samurai Champloo or Cowboy Bebop, a figurine of like some Attack on Time stuff. You get the point. Yeah. So that's pretty much my question I want to ask. Should remain video game related merch or would you like to see merch of other sorts of things? Yeah. That gets you one entry. Video responses for this contest will be up to four entries, as I split into two things. For video responses, you could gain two entries if the response has you promoting the giveaway and telling people what things are in it. So for example, let's say I want to join the giveaway and I'll be all like, Hey, Nick Knack is doing this awesome giveaway and he has some cool stuff that you should definitely check out and see if you can win, like this Persona 5 tote bag, or this Chrono Trigger Beast Sprite, or the autograph of the guy who created Mega Man. And yeah, check it out if you want to enter. Yeah, that's... If the video response has something like that, you get two entries. For the other two entries of the video response, it just pretty much asks you to answer a question in which I'll talk about right now. And this question kind of got me like inspired by how many mu musical artists there were at this year's Anime Expo. Like for example, there was the chick that sang the Neon Genesis Evangelion opening. There was um, Anamanaguchi. There was Porter Robinson. There was this idol group named Momo Era Clover Z. And surprisingly, to like present Momo Era Clover Z, Kiss was there promoting them and talking about them. And yeah, that pretty much kind of got me to thinking of this question. And the question is what are some bands or musicians you've discovered through games? Like, for example, I found out about Public Enemy while listening to Def Jam Vendetta 
and I've been loving their music ever since, like Chucky is the shit. I've like been introduced to Melancholin through Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I've been introduced to The Descendants by Grand Theft Auto 5. And like the most important one in my opinion for me, I've been introduced to Bad Religion by Crazy Taxi. So those are some examples for me. If you like want to gain two more entries, answer that question down below, or as I repeat it to myself again. Alright, the next thing I want to do or talk about is when the giveaway will end. On December 23 is the day I'll be choosing the winners, so that gives people enough time to make video responses and comment down below and see this video in general. So yeah, remember, December 23. And I know that for December 23, it will be a bit pointless for these because by the time these will reach you, it will be like past Christmas. But look on the bright side, you could save these and store them for next year's Christmas. So some of, for those that like want to question why it's so late, and these, yeah. Alright, and the last thing I want to talk about is like a little type of special thing. Now, for those that have entered my last giveaway, I thank you a ton for entering. So, just to give quick shouts for people who entered last year, Mr. Sparak Spacebar, Mr. Cracklois, Mr. Gypsqua Founder, or the Final Fantasy 13 guy I most know him as, like the biggest fan here in YouTube's gaming community, and Mr. Hero Statue Collector Lou. They were the ones who entered my giveaway last year. I thank you for it. And yeah, while it was a pretty good turnout, I like wish for this giveaway, I could have more people joining it because I put too much money into stuff and put too much time waiting in these lines for these autographs that like I don't want this giveaway to go to waste. You know what I mean? So here's what I'm going to do. If this giveaway gets 10 or more people entering, I'm going to also include some stuff that I originally obtained for myself, but I am willing to share it towards you guys watching these videos or knowing about this contest. So, the things I want to give away if this video gets 10 people or more are some of these Arcana keychains. And some Persona postcards. Yeah, surprisingly, like the last postcards or things I showed in terms of these postcards in the last video, surprisingly, I just recently found out that there were more Persona Q postcards. So, might as well just give these away if there are 10 or more people joining this giveaway. Yeah, like in terms of those things, as usual, they're gonna be given to the winners. So, first place winner gets first choice of the Arcana and postcard of their choosing, second place gets the remaining, and third place gets the not remaining. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. I look forward to everybody's, or like most of you guys' as people's video responses and comments. And yeah. I can't wait to see the results of this giveaway. So... That's pretty much it. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Take it easy, and until next video.